Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for loving yourself, healing yourself, being present, doing the work, sharing your love, empathy, compassion, and your light with the collective. Thank you for taking time to just be here, to be present, to become more aware, to love yourself even deeper. Thank you for grounding your energy. Thank you for meditating. Thank you for being introspective. Thank you for being self-aware. Thank you for taking the time to just be here. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for all the things that you're doing for the collective. I honor you. I'm thankful for you. Grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So today's reading, what is your cosmic blueprint? Okay. I'm going to be honest. I just got the download to do this reading, this topic this morning, and I really don't even know what a cosmic blueprint is, but it's kind of, I'm guessing it's just like, you know, some type of deeper layer or transcription of your soul. I don't know. We're going to find out, but it just came to me. Do a reading on what is your cosmic blueprint, okay? So I really don't know what's going to come out. You know, this is just going to kind of be like one of these, like, I feel like it's going to be very deeply soulful, but I don't know. I guess this this term will be defined with this reading, okay? So we're going to be going into the Akashic Records, And, you know, digging deeper into your soul, digging deeper into like, what makes you you, you know, okay, I guess I'm just channeling it right now. What, excuse me, what makes you you? Why are you the way you are? Or why do you do the things you do or think the way you think? Or who are you meant to be more of your purpose? Things like that. Okay. Like I said, I don't know. We'll just see what comes out. Okay. Pile one. Earth pulsing. Okay, how to, you're not for everyone. And how three, star ancestors. Okay, time stamps are linked below if you would like to book a personal reading with me. That information is below as well. Thank you again so much and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, Paul One. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for loving yourself and being patient with yourself and healing yourself. My name is Nicole. Let's get into this. Okay. Today's reading um, is what is your cosmic blueprint? Okay. So you chose Earth Pulsing. And we have an extra message. We're going to put that to the side. That's going to be for later. That's a message from your higher self. Okay. We'll see how that all ties in here. But earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down, time in nature. What is your cosmic blueprint? I was talking about in the introduction, like, I don't even really know what cosmic blueprint means. Um, It feels like a very loaded term. But I just got the downloads to just do this reading, okay? So it feels like very deep, though, very, like, soulful, you know? But what I'm getting here, what is your cosmic blueprint, pile one? You know, pile one, you all have this very deep connection with Mother Earth, okay? There's a very, like, you love being on Earth. Even if some of you are feeling like, no, it's too hard, Nicole, or like, no, like, it's just too much, like, your cosmic blueprint is you love it here. You love it here. You love to come back to Earth. You love to travel to Earth. You love to incarnate on Earth. You love the pleasures of Earth. You love the, you love nature. You love the food. You love the physicality. You love being here on Earth. Although it's challenging, although it could be great, although it's ups and downs, it's like your cosmic blueprint on a soul level, you get it. 
even if that's something that you're finding, like you're tapping into now, or you're figuring that part of yourself out, or you're trying to like integrate that, like your soul loves being here on earth. Some of you is like when you transition, you know, when you leave one journey, when you leave one body and through this process, you know, we go through things and our soul chooses where we want to go next or what we want to do next. And, you know, it's in accordance with what we need to learn and how we need to grow and expand. Many of you love to continue to come back here. Like your preference, if we're talking about like the universe and like the galaxy and like the different planets and star systems, many of you prefer to visit earth. You prefer to learn lessons here on earth, or you just prefer to be here. Like this is your preference planet. Okay, if this sounds too woo woo or too deep for you, I mean, this is what I'm channeling. So, you know, feel free to do with that what you will, but you enjoy it here on earth. And some of you really like you love the food, you love sex, you love making love, you love that you can, you know, like the technology. There's so many things about earth that you absolutely love. So I just want to say to someone, like if you're struggling with your journey right now, if you're feeling like this is too hard. You don't know how much more you could take. How much more are you supposed to deal with? Dig deeper. Take some time in nature by yourself. Cut your devices off. Go into nature and really ground that energy and regroup because your higher self, your spiritual team will tell you, you love it here. You literally love it here and find that energy so you can keep going. Now let's find out some more. Let's go deeper. Temptation. Wow. This makes so much sense. <laughs> Five of Cups. Chariot. Is that um, Messenger of Air? So this is going to be the Page of Swords. Justice. And Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So let's talk about the signs. Capricorn. I'm getting many of you maybe an earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, where you have prominent earth placements. Again, you don't have to be sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or north node, I'm getting. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also Cancer, also Libra, also Gemini, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Okay, those are the signs that I'm picking up on. Your cosmic blueprint... Um, Many of you, okay, okay, all right, so you've struggled with, part of your cosmic blueprint is like to overcome, because you love the pleasures of earth so much, so what do I mean by that? You love the food, you love sex, you love the money, you love, um, you love cars, you love clothes, like everything, because earth is physical, you know, like everything's physical here, okay? You love all of these things, but there becomes this imbalance of becoming addicted, becoming addicted to the pleasures here on earth. And many of you, you continue to come back here, not only because you love it, but also because your soul is still trying to find that balance. Your soul is grappling with how to be balanced and your love for for this planet and your not just your love for this planet but also like not feeling like feeling like many of you have within your soul this feeling of being betrayed like by something that you love so much it's almost like think about like when you experience heartbreak like someone breaks your heart right that person is you feel like you know this person or you feel like this person loves you so much. This person, you know, it's almost like seductive. And this person, you like, again, you feel like they love you so much. And it's like, how can you, if you love me so much, how can you hurt me so deeply? It's almost like you have this connection like that with Earth. There's this energy here that within your soul that is like, you love this place so much, but you feel like this place does not always love you back or does not always treat you well or does not always um, give you the love that you show. 
And that's not true. That's a balance. That's an imbalance of energy here. It's almost like you are trying within your cosmic blueprint. There's this needing to find the balance between your relationship with this planet. And I know that that sounds very deep, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. It's like this love affair that you have pile one with earth and all of the things that earth provides. Because again, from what I've channeled and what I've seen and what I know, there's no other planet in the universe like earth. Earth is totally in a league of its own. It's totally different from anywhere in the universe. Okay. It's very diverse. It's very unique. It's very physical. Like when you think about like, when people have addictions, because we all do, really, most of us do. It's about learning how to heal that, okay? It's easy to become addicted. It's easy to become addicted to these things because these things give us that love that we know in the higher realms. We know it. We feel it. We are we are love. But here, it's dense. It's harsh. It's physical. So we're not able to obtain the love that we're so used to having all the time here on earth, we have to find it. It's like a scavenger hunt. You're searching for it. So you search for it through alcohol. You search for it through drugs. You search for it through sex. You search for it through food, whatever it is. And you feel that love. You feel that fulfillment. But Within your cosmic blueprint, it's about finding that balance and finding that you can still enjoy these things, but you don't need to be addicted. Finding that love, that true love within you, that unconditional love within yourself. And that's the reason why many of you continue to return here to Earth, because I'm getting this. I'm, I, this is new information for me. Earth is one of the most difficult places to really feel that unconditional love. Okay, that's a new download here. I've never even heard this before. Okay, we're going deep today, and I'm here for it. But Earth is one of the places where it's like, it is a lot, it's more difficult to find that. And your your cosmic blueprint or your soul is like, we're going to keep coming back until we get it. And your cosmic blueprint is also saying, like, we're going to have fun doing it. Because many of you love to have fun. You Again, you love earth. You love to party. You love sex. You may love drugs. You love alcohol. You just love all of the things that are here. You love clothes. You love to shop. You love to travel. You know, you, you feel it. You love cars. Like, you enjoy it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you can't feel like you can't put these things on a pedestal. You can't. It's about not being addicted to these things, not putting them on a pedestal, and also knowing who you are and knowing that you have that love already within you. And it's about that equal give and take. But with your cosmic blueprint here, let's get some more. Let's get some more. It's it's really about that balance. Let's get some more. Let's go deeper. Because when I'm feeling here, someone's struggling with addictions right now. And I'm sending you so much love, okay? It's not easy to heal addictions. I've been there. Um, it's not easy. It's very difficult, you know? And it's about reprogramming yourself and um, really loving yourself and giving yourself, like, loving yourself despite your addictions, okay? And that's what many of you, that this, because, again, you know love on a deep level. You know unconditional love, but it's about finding it and grounding it here on earth and not allowing drugs, alcohol, food, and all these other things make you put you in this illusion of that's love. Because it is love, but it's not the unconditional love that you have to find within yourself. Okay, let's go deeper. All paths lead home. Big picture thinking. I'm sorry. Empathic star seed. Okay. So your cosmic blueprint here. Many of you are definitely like you're you're definitely star seeds here, okay? Um I mean, some of you may not identify with that, but some of you are, okay? If you identify with that, you are. 
this is saying your cosmic blueprint is like you are here. The reason why, and some of you may have a connection to the Pallades here because Pallades energy is coming through. The reason why you are here is to expand and it's really to like expand and ground in unconditional love. Many of you have had past lives where you did not feel it. You didn't find unconditional love within yourself. You didn't feel it. You didn't hold that vibration. And so, again, you continue, your soul continues to keep traveling back here until you get it, until you really expand in love. Because when you expand in unconditional love and you anchor that into the grid, to the earth, and you really ground in that energy, you're going to just expand and bloom into this beautiful flower that you are. You're really going to expand your soul. And you're going to feel connected to home, all paths lead home. You're going to get it. It's going to be an integration that you've never felt before. And that's within your cosmic blueprint. Like that's what you're meant to do. That's part of like the encryption on your, in your Akashic, like some of you are like in this, okay, I hope I'm not all over the place. What I'm getting with your cosmic blueprint is like you are, you're meant to expand so much and you have the potential to do this now. I don't want this, I don't want to make this seem like this is so far off, far out, like you've got multiple lifetimes to get there. No, you're hearing this for a reason. You're meant to be. Like you could do this now. You could shift into this now. You're supposed to expand so deeply here because you are, you're meant to feel it's like this. And again, I'm sorry if I'm being confusing. Please bear with me because I'm channeling some new information here. Okay. What I'm getting is you are meant to feel the love that you feel from your home planet, your home star system wherever your home is in the galaxy, you're meant to ground it here on earth so you can physically feel what you feel in the higher realms, what you know to be true. And when you integrate it, it's going to click and it's going to be this big, like almost like you clicked in your seatbelt. It's something that's going to be huge, a huge shift for you and it's going to break you through into a portal that you've never been before but it's going to be here on the ground on earth again physical and this is going to expand you into this huge powerhouse that you are meant to be and it's going to it's something that you're really going to get like it's something you're really going to integrate and it's going to be like you feel it, you know it, like it's everything, you know, it's true, you know, it's real, you know, it's what is really supposed to be. And that's something that your soul is yearning to do and to have. And that's something that, again, you've never really, you haven't felt that before, but that's something that you are yearning to feel and that you deserve to feel. Okay. Going back to this with your cosmic blueprint, part of your cosmic blueprint is also to right the wrongs of the past, meaning that you no longer feel guilty. You no longer feel shame. You no longer feel ashamed of like past addictions or guilty or feel like, you know, or feel regret or feel blame or feel this energy of unworthiness or feeling undesirable or feeling like you're not good enough, that is, that's supposed to be uprooted this lifetime. That's supposed to be like you are, you are able to finally see more of your purity, more of your divinity, more of your sovereignty. Like you're supposed to be able to see yourself as a sovereign being. You're supposed to be able to see yourself as this person that you know who you are in the higher realms. And that's something that some of you have not achieved with past lives, with your past lives here on earth and things like that. And these other realms, you know that. 
But down here, as I mentioned before, it's more difficult to feel it, it's more difficult to see it, it's more challenging because it's so much more denser, harsher. There's so many more obstacles involved. There's just so much more going on here on Earth. Earth is very diverse, okay? It's a melting pot of energies. It's a lot going on. It's a diverse landscape. It's multifaceted. We are multifaceted, but it's just a lot more going on. And you are feeling all, because many of you are very empathic here. You're feeling all of these feels. You feel everything. But within your cosmic blueprint, some of you are not grounding this. And it's like the more you ground it, the more you expand and the more you feel that unconditional love within. And it's the same love that you feel from the higher realms. And let's find out how can you, how can you continue to expand and grow with some of this knowledge from your cosmic blueprint? Limitations inspire innovations. You are light. In balance, gratitude again. Fall in love with your own story. I mean, this just says it all, you know? Like, what we've been talking about is the balance aspect. There's an imbalance with your relationship with the planet Earth, with Mother Earth. There's an imbalance here. Is Either, you know, I feel like for many of you, it's like the pendulum goes back and forth. Either you're giving too much or you're taking too much or vice versa, okay? And consuming more than your fair share, overdoing it, feeling addicted, things like that. That's where this imbalance comes in. Get in balance. Get in harmony with your relationship with the planet, with your relationship with food, with your relationship with alcohol, drugs, um, whatever it is, you know, get in balance with these addictions. And it may not be physical things, although I am getting that for some of you, but for some of you, it could be thought patterns. It could be behaviors. It could be, you know, system of beliefs, whatever it is, you're being asked to get it in balance. And part of that is going to be falling in love with your story. Maybe you became addicted to things at the age of 12 or 13 that's okay. It's, it happens. Let me just say this right now. Here on earth, shit gets messy and it gets messy a lot. It really does. We don't know what type of situations we could be in. We don't know who we may get involved with. We don't know. We don't know any of it. We just get plopped down in these situations and it gets messy. And all we're trying to do is be loved and feel loved. That's it. Because that's all we, that's what we know. We know love. We know it in these other places in the universe, but here it's harder to find. So unconditional love is harder to find, okay? So fall in love with your own story. Don't shame it. Don't guilt trip it. Don't feel like you're less than. We all have our own things that we are here to battle. Like I said, addiction is not, people are starting to be more transparent about it. Most of us suffer from this, including myself. I think I mentioned that already. I have had many addictions, still dealing with it, still balancing that energy. It's a journey, but I'm so patient and loving with myself. And I'm telling myself, you know what? You're doing a great job because I am. So start putting that love there. And the more you do that, the more you're going to expand because you are light within your cosmic blueprint. There's more of this light that wants to be expanded on and wants to be sh uh, showed and wants to shine, okay? This light wants to shine. So with this being in the middle of all of this, this is saying that don't forget who you are. You are light. Even if you've done some dark things, even if you've been a part of dark situations, dark behaviors, dark situations, whatever the case may be, you are light. Don't be afraid to cut the light on. Don't be afraid to come into the light. You're always welcome into the light. But you have to fall in love with your story. Even if you've done some messed up things, again, we've all been there. There's no judgment. So don't judge yourself. Fall in love with your story. 
you're also being asked to have more gratitude. Have more gratitude for your, like some of you have done remarkable things here on earth. Things that people can only dream of experiencing. Things that people can only dream of being able to do, being able to have. Like, you know, have gratitude. Like if you have like a great car or if you're able to just spend, like you can go to a restaurant and you can literally spend a thousand dollars on a meal. Like most people cannot do that. And some of you have had those experiences where you could just go and you can order whatever you want in the most expensive restaurant in town. Most people have not been able to have those experiences. And because of your love for earth, because of your love for the pleasures here on earth, you get to enjoy that and you recognize that like this is a big deal. So recognize that and have gratitude for it. Gratitude for your experiences and gratitude for your journey. The more your gratitude you have, the more you will expand. And finally, limitations inspire innovations. So wherever you've been limited, this is going back again, like the blockages that you've experienced or the obstacles you've experienced within your journey. Those are the moments that inspire that creative, those creative solutions, inventions, innovations, continue to tap into that because many of you, you've had to go through it in certain situations in order to learn, in order to gain discipline or perseverance or courage. So the more you are able to reflect on that and love that part of your journey as well. Because a lot of times when we love our story, we only want to love the good times. We only want to love the celebratory times and the happy times. But we don't always want to love the times where we didn't have money or we didn't have food to eat or, you know, and again, those things are not easy to love. It's not, but it's your story and it made you who you are and it grew you and it stretched you and it expanded you. You know, whenever you hear about people, sometimes you hear different people share their story and they're like, yeah, you know, before I made it, it just cut off. But anyway, they're like, before I made it big, I ate a cup of noodles every day. And like, love that. Love that. Like, yeah, you may have eaten a cup of noodles every day, but then you hit it big and then now you can eat wherever you want. Like things like that, like really fall in love with your story and know that there's no other story like yours and fall in love with your relationship here with earth. Because like I said, many of you, what I'm getting here, and again, go into nature, spend some time in nature, because when you spend time in nature, that's like spending time with source, God, spirit, the most high, whatever you resonate with the universe and also mother earth as well. But when you're in nature, it's healing for you. It renews you. And it also places that focus on like why you are here and why you love to be here. Listen, you're not getting tacos in these other realms. You're not getting pizza. You're not getting wine. You're not getting, you know, whatever else. Like you're not getting the parties in the club. Like it's totally different. You're not making love. <laughs> making love looks is totally different. Why do you think we love it so much? Because we could feel it. We could touch each other. We could kiss each other. We could lick on each other. Whatever it is, we get to physically do these things that we're not able to do in some of these other places. We're just not. It's different. You know? So fall in love with your relationship here with Earth and love on her because she loves you. And give her that love she deserves. Okay, now final messages. Okay, hearts, infinity, rainbows, butterflies, and chakras. Okay, so you may be seeing butterflies right now or rainbows, but you know, many of you are going through a rebirth here, okay? And this rebirth is epic. Yes, all of a sudden like my head wants to get dizzy. This rebirth is big, it's epic. Really be gentle with yourself, really be kind with yourself, really be patient with yourself because you're integrating, it's almost like you're learning, like imagine yourself being like a toddler or a baby learning how to walk. Like literally, like you have to be that patient with yourself. Imagine yourself being like 
you know, a toddler learning how to go to the bathroom, learning how to use the toilet. Like, that's how new this is. That's how big this integration is for you. You're integrating a new vibration. You're healing heartbreak or you're healing wounds from the past. This is unblocking and providing, you're being provided with new energy that you've never felt before. You're anchoring in a new vibration. Your chakras are aligning. Excuse me. Some of you may be something really going on with your throat chakra here, but be very gentle with yourself, almost treating yourself like a child, a baby, like you don't really, you're like, you're just learning, like you're learning how to walk. You're learning, you know, you're learning all these new things that you've never felt before because you are going through a huge transformation, a huge rebirth. And if you are healing situations around addictions or you're healing situations around obsessive thinking or anxiety or fear and things like that, you're coming into a place where you're no longer going to be addicted. You're coming to a place where you're no longer going to be in fear. You're no longer going to be anxious. Many of you don't know what that feels like because you've never felt it before. You All you know is anxiety. All you know is fear. All you know is being addicted. Whether, it, you know, it doesn't matter because addictions will switch up. You know, you could be addicted to one thing and then move on to a new thing. So very gentle with yourself, very loving with yourself, very kind speak to yourself with kindness and love, allow these chakras to align, um, really take time to meditate, take time for your spiritual baths, take time to be in nature and just really be very gentle with yourself and also take time to get your rest. Okay. And pay attention to the synchronicities that the universe is sending you because where you are going, if you continue on this path, it's, it's like infinite possibilities here. Now, let's get the message from your higher self. Love doesn't have to mean near. Okay, let's find out. Look at this. It's like, you know, rays of light here. And I just saw 444. So some of you, again, you're going through a um, crown chakra and third eye chakra upgrade as well. Some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tally who the universe. Okay, so what I'm getting here is like, I mean, your higher self is basically saying like, the love that you desire or the love that you want to feel, it starts within you. It starts within you. Like, it may be someone that you love that you met. Some of you could be in a long distance relationship or there's someone that you're thinking about that you love very fondly. But what I'm really getting here is like this love that you really want and you really desire. It begins with you. It starts within you cultivating that love within you. Because when you cultivate that love within you unconditionally, with no shame, judgment, regret, no guilt, everything else will align. You will attract the things you desire. You will have the things you desire. You will have, you know, whatever it is that you want, but it has to begin within you. So love yourself very deeply, very unconditionally because you deserve it. If no one told you they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Continue to be kind and gentle with yourself and nurture yourself. Love on yourself. Cherish yourself. Honor yourself. Be good to you. Be very gentle with yourself, okay? Get the rest that you need. Take time for yourself, okay? I love you and I'll see you next time. Hi, pal two. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the capital L-O-V-E tribe. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I'm so grateful that you are here. My name is Nicole. Let's get into this. Okay. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Okay. So, okay. I don't know why it's like, Okay, never mind. All right, let's get into this. Okay, Cosmic Blueprint. So I was saying in the opening, like I really don't know what Cosmic Blueprint exactly means. I feel like it's very, I mean, it could mean so many different things, but 
it's very deep. It's very soulful. So we're going to be getting more in the Akashic Records here and just whatever wants to come out, okay? So with this year night for everyone, you know, within your cosmic blueprint, you're not for everyone. Like, you're so different. You know, like, you are extremely unique. You are meant to be that person that, like, even in the different places in the universe, you're different. Like, wherever you go, wherever your soul travels, it doesn't matter. You are different. You stand out. You are not for everyone. And many of you have had a difficult time here with your journey here on Earth because you know inside you're different. And the energy comes across as because you're so different, you feel like no one will ever understand you or you're, you're constantly going to be misunderstood. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of people don't understand you, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. They don't because you're so different and because your your energy is so powerful in that way of like, many of you are catalysts, many of you are disruptors, many of you are polarizing, many of you are not meant to fit in. And that's a huge part of your cosmic blueprint, but it's about the more you embrace that within you, the more you love it, not even just like embrace it, but accept it and love it because that's part of your North Node. It's part of your purpose. It's part of your purpose here on Earth, but also other places within the galaxy, not, not just here on Earth, other planets, other star systems. You're different. You're different wherever you go. You are not that person that assimilates. You are a standout regardless, okay? So that's a big part of this. So I'm going to put this message to the side. This is a message from your higher self. We will get that at the end. But let's go deeper. Let's find out some more. Transformation. Page of Cups. Strength. Moon. King of, King of Cups. Four of Pentacles. And Ten of Swords. Okay, so let's just talk about the signs. Scorpio, Leo, Cancers, Cancer, Pisces, um, also Gemini, and also Aquarius, okay? Um, sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or North Node I'm getting, okay? For some of you, it could be like, you know, multiple signs here, like just fit in that for you, okay? But what do you need to know your cosmic blueprint? Um, you are built for this. You know, whatever it is that makes you different, makes you unique, makes you stand out, you're built for this because within your soul, your Akashic Records, your cosmic blueprint, it says Pile 2 is meant to be this polarizing figure, this disruptor, this activator, this catalyst, this, you know, bringer of change. For some of you, you literally flip other people's worlds upside down, inside out. You're built for this. You have the strength. You have the courage. You have the bravery. It does not matter what people say about you. It doesn't matter how people feel about you. It doesn't matter. Like none of those things matter. And like I said, for some of you, it's like, I'm not just talking about here on earth. I'm talking about the universe. Like you go to different planets, different star systems, wherever you are, This like it's that same energy that you're different. You don't look like everyone else. You don't talk like everyone else. You don't the things that you do, your behavior is not like everyone else's. You are encrypted with that. You are, you know, one of one. No one is like you. You are rare. Like you just have that energy all through you. You know, that's a huge part of your soul. And not only that, but it's like, it's a huge part of your mission wherever your soul travels. You know, because wherever we, wherever our soul goes, we always have a mission. There's always a purpose. And part of that mission is, you know, for us and our own growth and our own expansion. 
and learning, but it's also about helping or adding value to wherever we decide to go. So wherever you go in the universe, this is it's in you. Like it's in you to be disruptive. It's in you to be rebellious. It's in you to, you know, be a part of different situations that people may consider taboo, may consider, you know, crazy, may consider woo-woo, may consider like, what is wrong with this person? Whatever that is. Some of you, you know, again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like what you identify as, like your gender, like you are always going to stand out, okay? And I'm going to be honest. I mean, here's a cheat code for you. Here's here's a secret for you. It's clear the more you accept that that's who you are, the more you level up, the more you boss up, the more you step into more abundance, step into more expansion, step into more of who you really are. Because with this page of cups here and the king of cups, this is saying that like, you can't be timid about who you are. You can't play it small. You can't dumb it down. You can't water it down. You can't act like you're not, you know, this, I don't know, like right in this picture, it's like she's a mermaid, but she's floating above water. Like, you have to own it. You have to own that you're a standout. You have to own that you're going to say things that everyone is thinking, but no one wants to say. You have to own it that you're going to love who you love. You have to own it that you're going to do what it is you want to do because you know who you are. You got to own it. And the more you own it, the more you level up, the more you move up and rank and spiritual rank and rank here on the, on the uh, physical and on earth elevation all the way. And some of you are hiding this about yourself because you're afraid of public opinion. You're afraid of like judgment because for some of you, you you know, you have past lives here where you were killed for this. You know, people did kill you, you know, trigger warning. I mean, it's not, you know, this lifetime, although it can translate into different situations here, you know, during these current times, like people want to like silence you or cancel you or tell you, you know, you're crazy. You don't need to talk, things like that. That's not for everyone. But for some of you, you do have past lives where you were silenced or your tongue was cut out or you were killed or you were stoned or burned for speaking up on things. And it's like your cosmic blueprint is like, this is that energy is within you to push you more like you were built for this. You have that strength inside of you to do this, to say what you want to say, to talk about things that you want to talk about, to love who you want to love, to dress the way you want to dress, to do your hair or whatever it is that you are doing and you're standing out. That's your North Node. That's who you really are. And the more you face that and face that, it's like, yeah, everyone's not going to like you. And yeah, you do bring a lot of change into people's lives. You are that transformative energy that shakes up their world. Some of you could, you know, see this like in your romantic relationships. When you come into that person's life, you completely break down ideas or beliefs or patterns or you're shining light on the darkness. And it's like it changes their whole life. They can no longer go back to the way that they used to be. Even if they try to, it's not going to work. And they know that. And, you know, for some of you, you may have a difficult time feeling like, oh, well, before they knew me, they were this way or they, you know, like you may have guilt around that and you really, you can't. Okay. Let's find out some more. Let's go deeper. Okay. And we, the Hathors, you got the love. Inner earth. The Seas of Mintaka. Okay, so. With your cosmic blueprint, okay, it's. So there, what I'm feeling is, is there, there is a need of acceptance. Okay, some of you need, you feel that where it's like. 
you feel like you need to be validated. You feel like, because it's almost like you need someone to give you permission to be yourself. You need someone to be on your team. You need someone to validate what you're saying, what you're doing. You need someone to just be like, hey, it's okay to be you. And what I'm here to say is, it's like, you know, people can validate you all day, but it's nothing like when you validate yourself. And your cosmic blueprint is like, you've been waiting for validation outside of you for so many journeys, so many different lifetimes, where it's like, when you give it to yourself, that's when the world is going to see you. That's when the world will validate you. That's when the world is going to stand up and be like, oh yeah, how to, like, that's what's up. Like, what how to, like, is doing or who they are. That's when you're going to get it. The more you accept yourself for who you are and accept the way you think, accept the way you speak, accept the type of people that you enjoy being around and the things that you like to do. Some of you, you know, you may have been called a weirdo all your life. You know, people may have bullied you around that or felt like the type of things that you like, like the music you like or the food you eat or the type of interests that you have, like you're just too strange, you're just too weird. Where did you come from? And it's like, again, you were built for this. You were built, this is who you are. And you didn't feel any way about it until someone said something, until someone told you it wasn't cool, according to them, until someone said to you, you're strange. Why are you so different? And all this other stuff. Then that's when the light bulb went off. It's like, oh, something's wrong with me. Where the real tea is, it's never been anything wrong with you. You've always been who you are. And that's nothing for you to be ashamed of. In fact, that's for you to love it even more. I see 333 on the clock. That's like, own it. Own who you are. Yeah, you like to listen to whatever music you like to listen to. Who cares? It's not bothering anyone. It's your choice. That's the type of energy. And, you know, some of you, you know, you don't, you already have that energy where it's like, you know, you don't even need to speak on things. Like, you don't need to say what you like. You know, you don't need to, I need to tell someone here, you don't need to explain yourself. You don't need to, like, because it's almost like this, like, it's never going to be enough. You know what I mean? Like you could tell people all day why you like this or why you do this. or You could explain it in different languages. Just keep talking about it. And it's never, it's still not going to be a situation where they feel like you're enough or they're going to understand you. You just have to understand you. And you have to tell yourself you're more than enough. And within your cosmic blueprint, you feel that, but it's unconscious. And part of the reason you're here on earth is to tap into that and to accept that and bring that unconsciousness to the light. We see that here. Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Because unconsciously, you love who you are. You've always loved it. It's just that someone, people have told you along the way because they don't get it. It's not cool. Or because they don't understand it. It's just weird to them. And the fact is, is like, again, you're that catalyst. You're meant to bring that change. Like, yeah, you don't like this music. Just try it. Just listen to it. I think you will like it. You know, that's the type of energy you bring. But when you have people who feel like dominating figures or who are telling you these things at a time where you're impressionable or, you know, you really don't know who you are, you're figuring that out and they're telling you, yeah, that's that's kind of strange. That's kind of weird. Now, all of a sudden, you're taking that on. You don't even know what weird is, but they're telling you that that's who you are and then you believe it, you know? So it's about reprogramming and like, no, you know who you are. Yeah, you may listen to music that no one really listens to and that's okay. Like you are who you are, you know? Like you are who you are and with this energy coming out, this is saying that like nothing can defeat you. Within your cosmic blueprint, you are a warrior. It doesn't matter what is going on. Codependency, 
because it says here too, you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Like, you were made for this. You were built for this. You will always come out on top. You will always be victorious. You will always win. But you have to know this and you have to accept this. And you have to accept this on a deep level and love yourself on a deep level and really face that, yeah, everyone's not going to like you. Everyone's not going to agree with you. Everyone's not going to understand you. And that's okay. Because the more you understand and love yourself and accept yourself, you are going to align with individuals that love and understand you for you. And that may be five people, but if there's five people, that's better than all these other people telling you who you are, you know, and really loving and accepting that and accepting that that's part of your journey. And like, again, you got this, like, you're built for this. Now let's go. Let's find out what can you do to continue to grow within this information that's been given to you, and like continue to expand with this type of knowledge that you are receiving right now. Wow, look at that external validation. I swear, I just you can't make this up. Thank you, universe. I swear. Rise. Wow. The now. Integrate your knowing. Sacred mirrors. And change maker make waves. This is so perfect. Many of you, okay. This is saying the external validation is going to come. The validation that you've been yearning for. It could have been from your parents. Could have been from siblings. Could have been from friends. Lovers. Many of you have been yearning for validation, yearning for that love, that appreciation, that acceptance. And it's saying the more you integrate your knowing of you love you, you accept you, then that's when they're just going to, it's just going to come to you. People are going to automatically start, well, I kind of get pal to, or like, you're just going to know that like what you're saying is landing. Like some of the things that you're talking about, like, this person is now understanding it. And even if they don't understand it at the level that you are meaning for them to understand it, they are understanding it for the level that they can understand it. Because again, consciously, they may not be there. And that's okay. That is okay. Okay, so nothing wrong with that. But you are meant to receive external validation for you being you. But that's about you loving and accepting you. And the more... Like many of you are really not going to get that, like get that external validation until you really dig deep in love and accept yourself. Because some of you within your Akashic, it's almost like your soul is like not going to allow you to really get what you deserve until you give it to yourself first. It's almost like as much as you do, it's not going to be enough until you know you're enough if that makes sense, okay? So integrate this knowing. Integrate the knowing that you are built for this. You are strong. Your energy can handle this. And not only handle this, but persevere and be victorious. You are a warrior. You will continue to rise. With this rise coming out, and the sacred mirrors, this is saying, again, many of you are a mirror. You're a mirror for the people in your lives. You're very empathic. So if you are picking up on inadequacies or situations or fears and things like that or limiting beliefs, they may not always be yours. They may be another person that you could be talking to at the moment or people in your energy field, things like that, because you are a mirror. That means, again, you have that polarizing, disruptive energy. You're meant to transform people and you're meant to transform people by just you being you. So the more you accept that about yourself and accept that about your energy and accept that about your journey and that being a part of your North Node energy, the more you will rise the more you will expand, the more you will really come into who you really are, who you are really meant to be. And many of you are that phoenix. You continue to rise out of the ashes. You know, you literally will blow someone's house up 
but you always make it out every single time. And it's like, some of you may, again, you may feel a bit like angry about that part of yourself. Like, why are you so, um, why do you have that energy where it's like you blow people's lives up or you really tear things apart or you come into someone's world and you flip it upside down? You may kind of resent that. And you're being asked not to resent that because that's part of who you are. And it's within your blueprint. And it's, again, you are encoded with that energy. And not only are you encoded with that, but you have the strength to see it from beginning to the end, see it all the way through and become a better version of yourself. And also your energy will help another person be become a better version of themselves. You're coming into their life in a poor purpose or the time that you're changing, shaking things up in their world is because they need it. They need it. They need that shake up. They need their world to be flipped upside down because they need to change. They need that disruption. So you are a change maker and you're here to make waves. So the more you, again, really, this is about acceptance. This is already within you. You've already been validated. You've been validated from, you know, source, God, spirit, the most high, your spiritual team, whatever you resonate with. You've already been validated. Your higher self has validated you. You validate yourself on the ground and do it in the present moment. All of this is already within you. You have it. There's nothing, it's no new, it's nothing secret. I just saw 2222. Like, you just have to be present and grounded in that energy and continue to love and accept it even more. Now, let's get your final messages. Okay, three monkeys, bag of marbles, tree of life, seedlings, and juggler. Okay, all right, so. Right now, for some of you, this may be a time of like, you're juggling a lot right now, or you have a lot going on, or there's just, you know, I'm just feeling like for some of you, you have a lot going on. And this is why being present and being grounded and being in the present moment is going to be so important for you because there may be a lot of things on your mind or a lot of things that you're dealing with or a lot of things that, again, you're just, you have going on just in your life right now. Right now is a time where you're balancing. You're finding you're you're finding that groove with the balance or you're figuring that part of yourself out. So with this juggling act that you have going on, really be grounded and really present and take care of yourself. Although you may have a lot going on, still continue to nurture yourself, still continue to take time out for self-care, take time out to check in with yourself, take time out to ask yourself, what is it you need? What do you need in that moment? You know, do you need more rest? Do you need water? Do you need food? Do you need exercise? Do you need to take a break? You know, things like that. That's going to be very important. With this bag of marbles here, there's something here that's manifesting. And it's like for some of you, you've been setting intentions around different manifestations and you don't know what's going to manifest. Like, Basically, with this bag of marbles here, this is a mystery. This is the universe telling you, like, you have a bunch of different manifestations that are coming in, but you don't know what's coming in next or what's happening next or what's what seed is going to sprout next or what seed is going to harvest or things like that. But there is something grounding. Manifestations are grounding, but the mystery of it, you don't know and you don't see it coming and it's coming in divine timing, and it's asking for you to, again, be present. Because the more present you are, the more you're not thinking about the future, you're not thinking about the past, you're just thinking about what's right in front of you right here, right now. So really try to be present, but just know that things are coming, things are happening, things are growing. Some of you are coming out of a stagnant period, where things weren't really growing, things weren't really moving, or you had to do a lot of learning and growing and healing. And now it's happening. It's happening. I'm definitely feeling that right here. It's happening, but it's just going to be a surprise how these things happen. And finally, with the three monkeys here in the tree of life, this is again, just grounding, just really being grounded here. I can't, some of you are really, um, not as grounded as you need to be. 
So really try to get grounded here or be more grounded and be more present. But I'm also getting like, don't participate in gossip right now. Don't participate in like judgmental talk or gossipy situations or situations where people just want to be um, kind of like lower vibrational talk. Like, oh, you see what that person, you see what they said, like really watch what you're saying right now or what you're consuming or what you're listening to or, you know, the type of energy that's coming into your aura right now, okay? Because for some of you, it's gossipy or it's, it's something, it's some things that can lower your frequency. So just really be mindful of that. And with the tree of life, this is an expansion that's happening within you because this is like, some of you are really being activated with this reading. So there's something that's going to be really expanding within you, like more light is expanding within you, more knowledge. Because for me, the tree of life is also about knowledge and wisdom. So there's some more knowledge and wisdom that's expanding within you and it's bringing more light into your aura that's going to be attracting more light into your life. Like some of you could have been in a very dark period and you're coming out of that and you don't see it coming, but you are. And this light that's expanding within you, like I said, is attracting more light into your life. So really integrate that knowledge and wisdom that you have within you and, you know, focus on higher vibrational situations, higher vibrational content and higher vibrational people. And even if you're in this place of transition and transformation, you'll be able to know. Okay, you'll be able to know, you will be able to feel it. So let's get the message here from your higher self. Prepare to be astounded. Wow. Look at this. This is what your higher self is saying to you. And this is powerful because I really just feel this going through my body right now. This is some type of huge groundbreaking shift or change that's coming. And like I said, for some of you, this is through your manifestations. But again, you don't know. There's a surprise, like the universe, what I'm getting here is for some of you, the universe wants to surprise you, wants to keep you guessing and wants to surprise you of how something is unfolding here. Okay. Send them love, wish them peace, see them happy, everyone always forever and prepare to be astounded, the universe. P.S. Oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? Wow, do you see the synchronicities in this? Manifester, and we were just talking about manifestations coming in. This is huge. So send them love. If people have talked about you, you know, said things about you, whatever, send them love. Wish them peace. Wish them well. Forgive the people that have hurt you. Forgive the people that have hurt you. And for many of you, that's the light that's expanding, this radical forgiveness and radical acceptance for yourself. Because the more you accept yourself, you can forgive those ones that tried to call you weird or tried to call you strange or said, you know, terrible things about you. You can forgive them because it's like you love and accept yourself and you love who you are. So wish them well, forgive them. And, and, you know, pray that pray for their happiness. Pray that they find that love within themselves. Pray that they find healing. Pray that they find their own light. Because the reason why they tried to put you down is because your light was too bright. You knew who you were. Yeah, you, you love that, you know, whatever those shows were or that book or that music. You, you loved it or the people that you enjoy to be around. And you were honest about it. But they didn't know who they were. They didn't know their light or they weren't in tune with that. So forgive them. The more you forgive them, the more that light expands within you and you are a master manifester. And your higher self and the universe prepare to be astounded. You don't see this coming. This is shocking. This is huge, pivotal, big shifts. Prepare to be astounded. If no one tells you they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Love yourself. Cherish yourself. Honor yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Nurture yourself. Accept who you are. Accept all of yourself. Forgive the people that hurt you from the past and really give yourself that love and acceptance you deserve. I love you and I'll see you next time. 
Hi, Pal 3. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital LLVE tribe. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for healing, for loving yourself. Thank you so much. Okay, so my name is Nicole. Let's get into this. So Cosmic Blueprint. Um, so in the introduction, I was saying, like, I really don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means in a way, but it could go so deep. It could be so layered. It could be a lot going on with that. And each reading has been very powerful. And so we're going to be getting more information from your Akashic Records and also just like within your soul and like who you are on this deep level. This is a very spiritual pile, okay? Um, this is a very deep, very spiritual, very highly evolved pile. The star ancestors here, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. What is your cosmic blueprint? Your cosmic blueprint is you are a student of the universe. You are a teacher. You are a student. You are a learner. Excuse me. You are a learner. You are a person that has a lot of wisdom. You are a person that for some of you, you know, you were here. Your soul was here back during in ancient Egypt here with these images here. I don't know if you can see that. We see the pyramids here, but it's also like you could I'm sorry. You could see the other energies here, which is almost like representative of like like God God thought, God Horus, like Goddess Beset, like Goddess Isis, you know, it's that energy is within you, okay? Doesn't matter like when you feel like, you know, like it, it doesn't matter. You have that ancient energy within you, okay? Um, and it's very deep and it's very encrypted within your soul, within your Akashic records. And you have a lot of information to share and to give. Many of you love traveling. You love traveling within like here on earth but you also love traveling within the universe you visit different planets you visit different star systems you're very um in tune with like the landscape of being able to learn wherever you go Many of you have a lot of secrets. Your cosmic blueprint is you carry you carry the secrets. You have secrets of the universe. You have secrets here of Earth. You have secrets of the different planets in the galaxy. It's almost like I can't talk. I'm sorry. I keep like... Mm. Many of you hold a lot of wisdom and secrets that is like people would die to know or people would like... Like these are the type of information that you have is like so healing or helpful for the collective that it's like people spend so many life journeys to even be able to get a fraction of this information. Like you are literally a trusted figure. Your cosmic blueprint is you're trusted. You're trusted with a lot of information. You're trusted with ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. You're trusted with a lot of information that most people don't have. And you have worked for this. You've worked for this place in the universe. You've worked for this title. You've worked for this elevation. And not only have you worked for it, but you have shown yourself, to. you've proven yourself to be worthy. You've proven yourself to be trustworthy. You've proven yourself to be a leader. You've proven yourself to be able to handle this type of task because this is a type of task that's not given to everyone. You know, this is given to only certain souls because they've shown that this is something they're not obsessed with their ego. Like these are things that you can handle. Okay. So this is very deep. 
Many of you are very deep, very wise, very spiritual. Okay, let's get some more. Now we have a message here from your higher self, but we're going to save that until the end. Let's go deeper. Pile three, queen of swords. Judgment. High priestess. Three of cups. Ace of wands. The sun. Wow, this is big energy. And we got some more. Three of swords. And ace of pentacles. Okay. Let's talk about the signs. So you could be a you could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be a Taurus or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Leo. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. You don't have to be those signs, but I'm getting Sun, Moon, Rising, or North Node here. Um, Your cosmic blueprint. Many of you, you're so... It's like, okay... Like you are, you are expanded and heightened on a new level. Like you're, if you're an empath, you're an extreme empath. Like you're a super empath. You're sensitive. You're a highly sensitive person. You're intuitive. You're highly intuitive. You're, you're wise. You're very wise. Like everything is on an extra level for you. You get that extra adjective every single time. Like that, that extra add on to describe you because that's just how evolved you really are. I feel that many of you don't recognize how highly evolved you are. Um, and it could be because just life, you know, life lessons, life circumstances. Sometimes it's difficult to see these things here on earth because Earth is so physical and it's harsh and it's dense. I don't want to say it's harsh, like it's so hard here, but it's harsher because of the physicality here and the energy here that we have on Earth. It can feel harsher, okay? But your cosmic blueprint is like, you're so wise. <laughs> like you're so, and not only are you so wise and so intuitive and so gifted and so talented, but it's like, it's like unbeknownst to you. Like you don't even see how powerful you are. You don't see how gifted you are. You don't see how trusted you are. Some of you are like a guide here on earth. You're an earth angel or you're a spirit guide here on earth or you're a mentor or you're a teacher. Like you help people, you teach people, you guide them. You don't see how gifted you really are. You don't see how beautiful you really are. You don't see how intuitive you are. You don't see how wise you are. I feel it's because um, and some of you may recognize this, but some of you I'm getting, you don't see this yet. Like this is a bit unbeknownst to you. And I feel this because this is just who you are and you don't get caught up in like, you don't, like you don't focus a lot on like your own gifts. You're focused on using what you have and what you know to help people. And that's a big part of your cosmic blueprint. You are here to heal. You are here to teach. You are here to help. You are here to add value. Many of you, you know, before you began this life journey here, before you incarnated this life journey, you were somewhere else in the universe. You were you were not a hero on earth. Many of you have mastered earth. Okay, I'm going to be very honest. Maybe not everyone for this pile, but most of you, if not, I mean, again, maybe not everyone. And if you haven't, if you feel like you haven't mastered earth yet, you're getting closer, but most of you have mastered earth. Like you've pretty much learned the lessons that were presented. Like you evolved to such a high place where you did not have to come back here to earth. But like I said, some of you are earth angel. Some of you are spirit guide and the call went out. The call went out and your soul heard the call and said, let's go back. Let's go back to teach. Let's go back to heal. Let's go back to share the secrets, share the wisdom, share the knowledge. Your cosmic blueprint is you always show up. 
maybe not when people want you to, maybe not when they expect you to, but you come through, you're reliable, you're trustworthy, you show up, you help, you, you know, and it's like, you do it in a very graceful way. You do it in a very dignified way. Many of you are very multi-talented with the way you heal. Some of you heal through your cooking. Some of you heal through, you make music. Some of you heal through dance. Some of you heal through um, like Reiki or some of you are tarot readers. Like you're so well versed in the things that you do and the way you're here to help people. And it's your absolute pleasure to do so. And you enjoy being creative in the way that you're going to help people and to heal people and to teach people. You don't want to be that one size fits all. And some of you, you know, within your cosmic blueprint, you've dealt with all types of pain. You've dealt with all types of betrayal, all types of heartache, all types of like, situations that made you feel not good enough, less than, and you continue to dig deep to find yourself on a deeper level to evolve even further and to shine more light. This is so beautiful. Okay, let's get some more. This is so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> you guys are so powerful. Okay, top three. I remember portal breath of cosmos and the void. Okay. Your cosmic blueprint. So within your cosmic blueprint. Okay. Someone also, this is just a side note. Someone may have just stepped through a, a new portal like last night, like yesterday or today, or you're stepping through a new portal tomorrow. That's for someone, maybe a few of you here. Doors are opening. You decide rewards, wild card. This is a wild card portal that you have stepped through and you really don't know what's about to happen. Okay. This is very mysterious. It's very like up in the air where this goes. It's not a bad thing. Not at all. In fact, it's a great thing. This is just a side note. There's some type of rewards that's coming in for you for stepping through this portal. Like you allowed yourself to step through it. Uh, you gave yourself permission to step through it and you chose to step through it. And now you will be rewarded and it's going to be big. And like I said, it's a wild card energy with this. So you really don't know what's going to happen. But back to this. Okay. So within your cosmic blueprint, like you remember so much, you know, you remember, you remember some of your past lives. You remember some of that knowledge that you learned from past lives. You remember that wisdom that you gained. Even if you, you may not remember details from your past lives. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you remember the knowledge. You remember the wisdom. You remember the experience. You remember how, you were able to evolve and expand or whatever it is that you gained from that. And not only do you remember, but you share, you share the knowledge, you share it because you know, knowledge and information, that's wealth, that's abundance, that's blessings. So you share it with the people that you love or the people that you care about, or the people that you're guided to share this information with. And it changes people's lives. It lifts them up. It pulls them into a different place, a higher a higher way of thinking, a higher vibration, a higher way of being. Many of you within your cosmic blueprint, you know how to surrender. You have such a beautiful relationship with the universe, with the different planets and the, and the star systems and the galaxy. Because many of you, you, you know, you're a galaxy traveler here, a universe traveler. It's not just earth for you. You've been in so many different places within the universe. That's just how, how highly evolved you really are. So you get it. You get how to surrender. You understand how to let go. You understand my will, thy will. You understand like how to just release it and flow with the energy, flow with the current. You have that wisdom. 
you remember. You remember how to do it. You remember how to float. You remember how to fly. You know, many of you within your cosmic blueprint, you've had so many different experiences where it's like you've been an animal, you've been a person, you've been a tree, you know, you, you, you've been so many different things. So you, you've taken that knowledge and wisdom from those experiences and you bring it to life. You bring it from that darkness into light, into the light. And not only do you bring it to light or bring it to life, but you do it in a way where it's like practical. You do it in a way where it's like obtainable. It's relatable. It's funny. It's, you know, engaging. It's entertaining. Like, Many of you are very multidimensional and you're so multifaceted with the way that you're able to present this knowledge and wisdom and just this information that you have. And some of you, not only have you gained a lot of information through your past lives, but also this life journey, because there's always more to learn. Although, you know, some of you may have resonated with that, where it's like you haven't been on Earth in a while, you've been in other places in the universe, and, you know, you're back here, this life journey, and you see that there's still more to learn. There's still more to gain. There's never a situation where you're never going to just not learn. And that's what that's a big part of your cosmic blueprint. You love to learn. You love to gain more insight and clarity on life, on how it all connects, how it all works, you know, what we're here to do, all of those things. And again, you're very pragmatic. You're so practical and grounded with your approach and the way that you bring these things to the collective and it's so beautiful. Wow. Now let's find out how um, can you continue to improve on this knowledge and wisdom that you are receiving right now? Like how can you continue to grow and expand and improve on what you're learning right now? What's your honest truth? Fierce serenity. The distraction of shiny things. Success and transformation. Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. Fearless expression. changes. Wow. Okay. So how can you continue to grow? Continue to honor the cycle of change. Continue to honor the, the evolution within you, the growth within you, the transformation within you, because many of you, you know, you're light workers here. You, you are star seeds. You know, you're a healer. Whatever it is you identify as, you are going to constantly grow and evolve and change. And sometimes that could feel scary or sometimes it could be like, well, like you may think to yourself, well, you have to continue to go through these different transformations. And sometimes it could be tough. It's not always easy, but honor it. And not only honor it, love it. Love your evolution. Love your story. Love your growth love that you do transform and that you can look back and say, yeah, you're not the same person you were six months ago, six years ago. You're not the same person you were five days ago. Like you continue to change and grow and take time to appreciate your growth and be proud of yourself because some of you are leaders here and you're leading the way. And when you do it, other people are going to do it because they're going to feel that energy whether they know you or not, they're going to feel the energy, okay? So really honor it because as this card says here, there's success in that energy of transformation. There's success, there's growth, there's abundance. It's fertility, okay? So really honor that because some of you I'm feeling like you get a little like, I don't want to say down, but you may just kind of feel like, okay, how many more things are you going to go through or how many more things are you going to have to transform out of? And sometimes, again, it can feel tough because you're releasing those things that you've been programmed with or programmed to believe or those behaviors and things like that. And so releasing it is not always easy. 
So really just honor it and love yourself and be gentle with yourself. Continue to value the truth. What's your honest truth? Not only your truth, but the truth of like, because again, many of you get downloads from the universe, you know, because you're trusted with this information. You're trusted to disseminate this information and to give this information. Everyone is not trusted with these things because it's, you know, everyone is not there on their journey. So value the truth, value honesty and value your own truth as well and always be a trustworthy honest individual because many of you the information that you give people don't question you because they know that you are honest so always honor the truth and always be truthful and authentic and honest know that you are fierce some of you have a lion spirit animal here know that you are fierce and that that fierceness that you have within you is also like a calm fierceness. Like it doesn't have to, like a tiger, you know, not a tiger, a lion. Like lions are so majestic and they're so powerful, but they're so graceful. And you don't really see them like roaring or, you know, making noise unless they have to. So it's almost like pull that energy out of that fierceness when you have to. It doesn't need to come out all the time. And some of you could have an elephant spirit animal here as well, because this is saying, continue to ambush your fear with your ferocious dream. This is saying that fear, it may continue to come up, but you know what your dreams are. You know what the truth is. You know what you're here to do. So crush that fear. Fear has been lying to you and we no longer believe it right? Don't believe it anymore. It's not true. You know who you are and you know your dreams, you know your intentions and you know your manifestations. Continue to speak fearlessly. Continue to spread the truth, spread that knowledge, spread that wisdom and do it in such a way of like, you're not afraid to speak up on things. You're not afraid to be honest. You're not afraid to talk about the real, you know, talk about the things that no one wants to talk about you know, shed light on situations that people don't want to talk about. And you're not afraid to share that wisdom about it, you know, and get those secrets, the secrets of the universe that people don't know about. And don't get distracted by naysayers. Don't get distracted by public opinion. Don't get distracted by the things of the world. Like, you know, sometimes when people get into certain situations, like, Certain things come up that could compromise your soul or compromise who you are or compromise, you know, like basically someone may try to buy you or try to like they want they want secrets. They want that knowledge. So they want to try to, you know, buy you off. Don't get distracted by those things. You can't be bought. You can't be bought. Your energy can't be bought. Like, yes, you receive you know, abundance and money and things for your services, but you cannot be bought. Your soul cannot be bought. Your soul is not for sale. And you know that, you know that, and you know, you will always be provided for, you know, you will always be protected. You know, you will always be supported. So no one can buy you. You can't be compromised. Your, what you know, your, your knowledge and your wisdom. Mm -mm. Nope. You know who you are. Let's get your final messages. Okay, clouds. Many of you are very, very, very in tune and connected with the spiritual realm. White light. Wow, feathers. House. Communication, okay. So some of you, it's like, you're gonna be either getting a new house or a home situation is going to be uh, resolved where it's like you're moving or it's going to be a better situation for you. Okay, so some of you, yeah, you may either be moving or you're selling a house or it's a home situation. Whatever it is, your home situation is improving, okay? I'm definitely getting with this white light here. There's some type of miracles coming in for you. Now, some of you may be feeling like, well, um, you know, things are good with your home situation. So what I'm getting here is like, 
even if things are good, there's something changing for the better, okay? It could be just like some serendipitous opportunity for you to move or something like that, okay? But whatever this is, this is like improvement, miracles, abundance. Something is changing for the better and it's going to, you know, it's going to be like for some of you, it's going to be a relief. For some of you, it's going to be a miracle. For some of you, it's just going to be a surprise or like just like a better opportunity or just something like that. OK, um, many of you, you know, you're very connected to the spiritual realm. You're very spiritual. You're very in tune. These gifts, your spiritual gifts or psychic abilities are growing. OK, they're definitely growing. You are elevating. Many of you are showing, you're, you're proving again that you are trustworthy. You're proving again that you're serious. You're proving again that you're here to help. Like what I'm getting here is this is a lot of recognition coming in from the spiritual realm. Like you're doing an amazing job. You're doing a great job. You are making the angels proud, making your ancestors proud. Like they are singing your name in the spiritual realm praising you for the job that you're doing here on earth. So, you know, give yourself a round of applause, you know, tell yourself you're doing a great job because you are, you're doing a fantastic job. Even if it seems like you may be in a situation where it's like, you don't really see, you know, you feel like you're doing a good job, but you don't know, but I'm here to right now to tell you, you're doing an amazing, an extraordinary job. And you need to hear that and you need to know that you're being elevated with your rank, your status in the spiritual realm. So if you're being elevated in the spiritual realm with that type of status, get ready for elevation in the physical realm because it starts there. OK, whatever happens here on the physical side, it starts spiritually in the spiritual realm. You are being elevated. Some of you may be transferring now to Earth Angel with these wings here, maybe you weren't an earth angel at first, but now you are showing to yourself to be elevated to earth angel status, okay? Some of you is higher than that, okay? Some of you are already pretty high up there with your spiritual rank and status, and it's just elevating even more, where you're going to be getting more rewards, more abundance, more downloads, more wealth, all of that. There's also some communication coming in for you. For some of you, like usually when I see this card, I think about like telepathic. But what I'm getting here is like this is like spiritual downloads, like spiritual knowledge coming to you. But I'm also getting physical communication. There's some type of physical communication coming. And the number 10 seems to be significant. This is standing out to me. But it could be 10 hours, 10 days. But there's some type of communication and for some of you this is multiple sources of communication like this could be up to like 10 or up to five different situations where the communication is going to be mind-blowing but I'm definitely I want to reassure you in a good way because some of you have been dealing with some situations and you're a little you could be a little worried or a little like on edge or not really worried but it's in the back of your mind and you're thinking about it and you're you know, calming yourself down and keeping yourself grounded and centered, but it is there. So there's definitely some relief, some hope, some good news. I heard good news coming in. Okay. Now let's get the message from your higher self. Don't be misled. Okay. Let's see the back. When fear speaks, it's always wrong. Unless being chased by wild wildebeest, and when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy game on the universe. Wow. So we kind of saw that before that for some of you, you've been dealing with, you've been really facing your fears. Like fear has been coming up, you know, fearful thoughts or fearful, you know, feeling those thoughts of fear or those fearful behaviors. But your higher self is saying it's wrong. It's lying to you. It's not true. Let that love in. Continue to let that love in and know that love is guiding you. Love and light is guiding you and it's right. And that fear, don't be misled. Don't be, 
Don't fall into the fear trick bag. Don't fall into the fearful thoughts or the fearful patterns or the fearful behavior, okay? You have communication coming in. You have good news coming in. And you have a better home situation coming in, okay? So if no one told you they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Love yourself. Honor yourself. Cherish yourself. You know, be kind to yourself. Tell yourself you're doing a great job. Tell yourself you're proud of yourself. Continue to uplift and empower yourself and validate yourself and love and accept yourself. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you.